this is going to be a madhouse. And um, we knew it was going to be big, but we didn't realize that everybody's attending this show. So we What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Protective Film Solutions. We are here at the shop, and we have a very special video today because you guys are going to see a behind-the-scenes uh, exclusive look at some of the hyper cars that we have for tomorrow's show. Uh, it's finally after hours. Everybody went home. All the hard work that went into getting today ready is done. And uh, before we go home, we decided to make a one take video. That's right, one take. I'm not going to edit any of this. And I have Logan and Will here with me. We're going to do a walk around so you guys can kind of see all of the hyper cars before this is a zoo tomorrow because by the time the morning comes, 7 a.m., you're not going to be able to see anything. So uh, we're going to do a quick walk around so you guys can see. And before anything, Logan said, this is the most expensive car that we have here. Because it's how much? I mean, it's probably about six to 10. Six to $10,000. <laughs> yep, exactly. Six to $10 million. I mean, the uh, LaFerrari, we've had a, we've done a couple of them. We've done a few lots. So we've done a few full body PPFs on them, done ceramic coating on top. Um, but they are not as common as, let's say, the Senna's or the SVJ's and obviously those cars. So this one's even more expensive because it is a Aperta. So what's the base cost on a non-Aperta? So a coupe versus the Aperta? Well, you, got me, you caught me off guard. Putting you on the, on the spot. The value is about two to three million for a coupe, I want to say. I could be completely wrong. If any of you guys know, please correct it. But there's only 200 of these, the Jeez. Aperta. So this is much more limited. This thing is so sick. So uh, obviously, and the resale red, which is totally fine. It looks badass in that color. Uh, this car, Logan was able to pull together last minute. Uh, we've seen the Lamborghini race cars. We've done a lot of them for GMG and a few other uh, race teams. But um, what is this that's specific on it? I know it's the uh, latest model from them. This is their brand new race car. Yeah. But it's really cool. It's full paint as well. Oh, this is paint, huh? Uh, and yeah, this is the new the Super Trail Evo. Um, Brand new 2020. This thing is nutty, huh? It's really fresh off the boat. I think it's a week old. From, yeah. Uh, from All right. Thanks to our, our friend Terminal8 on Instagram. Uh, follow his page because I know he's got a lot of cars. He does. And he has not shared a lot of them, too. He's got a couple cool mercies. Yes, a couple of them. So uh, this thing is pretty rad. This one's getting pushed outside in the morning because we have a few other race cars. And then coming back to McLaren Row over here, uh, you guys have seen this car before. This is one of my clients that has a massive collection that he's starting to grow, and it's becoming really, really insane. Uh, we did a full body clear bra on it. We did the red accents, Glon ceramic coated, window tint. GMG, our partners uh, across the street, did the uh, HRE wheels. Uh, and I think went over the suspension again and uh, this thing's kind of been all over the place. He loves this car. He's got a big collection, but I think this is still his favorite car. Uh, the P1, this car you guys have seen around some of the shows. Uh, we've got a lot of mutual friends and clients that uh, uh, bring this around to, it's been to what, Cars and Copters, it's been to, it's been everywhere, huh? Yeah, and it's in race mode. All these are in uh, race mode, yeah? Very cool. This is a one-off uh, acid uh, yellow color. So I don't uh, think you'll ever see it on video, but it has green flakes yeah. in it. Yep. Uh, goldish green flakes, but in the sunlight or in person, it looks insane. Oh, it pops way more than normal. And you guys saw the video that somebody just bought this, I think, in Europe for like 1.1 1. 1 or 1.2? 1. 1. Yeah. No way. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's nuts, huh? That's a great deal. This I was going to say. Yeah. In my opinion, better than this. This Don't quote me exactly, but I know the video is out there and it sold for well under what people were thinking. So hopefully that goes back up. I uh, got another Senna and this one is from uh, our friends at Iluso who is uh, helping with the event tomorrow. They're partnering us with the, with the show and uh, hopefully the camera picks it up. This has a full metallic flake. That's not overspray. That's not a quick detail spray. The whole car, this is a $90,000 option, okay. huh? And then back here is painted on there as well. Really, Jeez. really cool. And then it also is on the lower part of the door down here. Oh, yeah, huh? Very, very nice. That's rad. Just in race mode. Of course, all three in race mode. You have to do that. So we got the McLarens in the back. Again, this is just the uh, the hyper cars. We're going to have a ton more McLarens out front. Uh, so that's uh, the McLarens in the back. We've got Draken. Um, one of Dan's cars, and uh, this car we've worked on before, right? Yeah, we've done a, did a full body on this uh, a few years ago, right before Car Week. That's right. So this one um, has been out to a lot of events, and uh, they rip on this thing. And uh, of course, brings over to the uh, CCXR, which our buddy uh, Wayne 
Uh, he just picked up his car a few months back. We did a full body clear bra on this one. And then he took it over to Bowden and they did a nutty exhaust on this. Yeah, so you can see the titanium, which is through there. I know power's off right now. Damn. That is insane. And the whole engine and then they go and do this. It sounds it sounds insane too. It does, yeah. I think it's Damon drove good. this and like they were ripping yeah. on it, right? Was it twin supercharged uh, V8? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So really look at cool. that. this is uh, also Floyd Mayweather's old car. That's right, it is. One of one of two. Yeah. One of two. Yeah. So this is only one side of the shop. Uh, I gotta move faster because we have a look at this. <laughs> this is where all the magic goes down. Jeez, this is crazy. We've been moving these cars around all day. And as much as I love doing that, it does actually get tiring because we're trying to position cars and we've got clients coming in. We got people wanting to see cars before the show. Uh, and don't get me wrong, we love when that happens. But finally, we can kind of look around and see this is nutty. It really is. So in the corner over here, we have our friends 918 with a martini edition uh, stripe on there. Uh, obviously, the roof's off. It has to be. And it's in race mode as well with the wing up. The Aston Martin 177. This car we just finished doing a full body clear bra on. And uh, this guy's got a, a pretty cool collection that we just uh, got to know. And hopefully, we get to do some more of his cars in the future. Imagine. So uh, this one will be uh, getting finished up and being uh, sent back out to uh, his home out in, I think, the, the desert. Uh, JP Logistics brought their uh, Bugatti Chiron, and uh, this one is kind of a Superman spec, right? Very, very nice. Yeah, we did this car a few years ago, I want to say, with the full body as well. Oh, yeah, huh? It's all exposed blue carbon, and then the red interior. Super cool. And our buddy Hawaii Brad, right? This is his Centenario. Really cool. This car is uh, originally from uh, Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, it stays out there sometimes, uh, you know, part of the year, but um, it's here. Oh, yeah. And uh, this car, we've done some work on and just recently did a Glon Ceramic Coating Annual Maintenance. And uh, this one, he uh, he brings down for the show. So we really, really appreciate that. Let's skip this, though. Oh, we're not Let's gonna skip the lark. No, 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 no. <laughs> this thing is, this doesn't need an introduction. You guys know this is the P1 GTR Lark. And the camera is not gonna pick up how bright it is, but this is a full fluorescent orange pink. I don't know you can't even, you, you, orange is pink with a little bit of red. I mean, yeah. It's such a unique color, you can't, you can't match it. Anyways. No, and uh, you guys have seen Damon's drops, very similar. Obviously, nothing is ever gonna get this close to the color as the P1 Lark. And uh, again, hopefully the camera picks it up, but this car really is a monster. And uh, he's he drove it into the show, I think, uh, last time. Yeah. Which is really cool to see. Driven on the road, so I really don't care about anything else in here except for this car. And I mean, that's why looking at this thing now, finally, that with a little bit more space around, I still feel, I still think that this is the best car here. I don't care if the price isn't as much. I have one in mind. No, 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 it's behind you. Don't oh no, I can't show. I love this car. Aston Martin Vulcan doesn't need any other introduction as well. And this has the pro kit, which we talked about in the last video. It's got the uh, fender vents. Uh, it has the uh, canards in the front and then of course the pro carbon fiber uh, piece underneath the wing and uh, This gentleman actually owns both of these cars So uh, I really want to see this out on track and hopefully we can uh, get him to invite us out there because uh, This thing would be pretty nutty to see out on the road and maybe uh, if I can get in the car uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Zalison's Performante you guys have seen this car uh, He is not gonna be in town, but he did want this out on display. So we do have it out right now and uh, that'll come out. 4GT, this is actually not a Heritage Edition. You guys have seen this on Shmi's video, I think Parker's video, DD's video, and we actually did a custom stripe and uh, custom orange, which Logan, we had to order this from, I think, Europe? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a custom uh, painted film. Yeah. Film. It looks really, really good, uh, no orange peel or anything. And this is all knifeless, so the stripe and everything, they don't make a kit for this stuff. So uh, one of our rap guys, Miguel, killed it on doing this all hand custom. And of course, it's got a full body clear bra on it, clear plex, ceramic coating. Uh, I'm getting out of breath, but the Gunther Works car, this is my favorite Gunther Works car. Even though they have a bunch of colors out, all carbon is still, I think, the coolest spec. And uh, I think the blue really plays off of it with the stripe, the Brembo massive uh, calipers, and then, um, yeah, this thing's got 
I think the coolest accents on it. The color scheme definitely is really nice. You still like it? What do you think, Will? I think it's pretty cool. Monterey blue, I believe it is. Yeah? Yeah. So it's super bright and vivid. And uh, yeah, we did this car a while ago, and uh, this has been to a lot of events. They've tracked this car before, so they're not afraid to put their cars to the test. And congratulations to Gunther Works because they just opened a brand new facility in Huntington Beach, and it's massive. We need to go do a video over there, actually. Yeah. You haven't been either. I haven't been over there. Have it's you been? really close no, to my house. No, so. it's brand new, isn't it? It is yeah. brand new. Awesome. Congrats, guys. So, Iluso, uh, our friends that are partnering with us on this show, they brought over a few cars. This is obviously a Pagani Huayra Roadster. Uh, Logan knows the specs like the back of his hand, well, I right? I don't know. Pagani, I haven't really what? Uh, studied Come this. Come on, Logan. I just really don't. It's got a uh, V12. 6.5 liter V12. Yeah, there he is. There's a spec <laughs> guy right there. How, how many horsepower is it? 700. Many, 700 many, horsepower. many horsepower. Yeah. This is a piece of art, though. It is. Everything you look at, every bolt on the car has Pagani written on it. Every, literally, every single Oh, yeah. Bolt. And then I say the same thing every time I try to explain so this if, car to people. If you stand at one place and you look, how many Paganis can you read? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. I mean, it, like, they're everywhere. That's nuts. And then, of course, the exposed AMG engine. And this is really where it shows, like, a, a work of art and a masterpiece. I mean... There's a lot of supercars and hypercars that have really cool interior, but nothing is ever going to be like Pagani as far as the attention to detail for this stuff. So really aggressive body, and uh, we don't have just one of these. We have another one over there, which we'll get to, but this one is rad. This is the uh, BC, and uh, this thing's obviously got a, a giant wing on the back to kind of set it off from the other two. The best part about the coupe, in my opinion, is... Roadsters don't have oh, doors, they geez. go up. Oh, jeez. I didn't even realize that. So the roadster, you get the basic doors. And yep. Outwards, yep. Like so. That's right. Come on, you're buying a car. Don't you want doors to go up like yes, this? Yes, you do. Like you pay, this? what, an extra million dollars for these doors probably? Uh, I would say so. Oh, okay. I was, I was just making that up, but fact check me. Um, and then, of course, we have this one. I actually have not seen this spec in person before. Have you seen it? No? no? Seen Is this a local car? For sale through Iluso currently. Mm, uh, so all right. Maybe uh, we will eventually see it here at our shop. Maybe. And look at, and hopefully you can see this, the attention to detail on the wheels where it says Roadster. This is almost like a, almost like Porsche's acid green, right? I would almost say this is acid green. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's got to be super bright. It's like very this. close. And it's of course all exposed carbon. And then the interior has the same kind of green all throughout. Diamond stitching on the interior. Again, it's not Iluso. Um, they uh, they were so kind to bring a lot of these cars over, as well as Mr. C's towing. And you guys have seen them tow a lot of the cars for us. Uh, it's not because these cars aren't driven. It's because uh, a lot of people are out of town and they want to have their cars at our event. So we're uh, really appreciative of that. And Mr. C's always comes in clutch for that. Um, I have not seen this car before in person. There was one in Monterey Car Week. But this is what? It's officially a... N Largo Novatech 720. Novatech N Largo. That's right. Uh, something like that. And, and this is supposed to replicate after the center, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Look at the front end. Oh yeah. So, so we have this next to the center out front, where you actually can see a lot of the similarities, but you can kind of see where it's a little bit different. But it is it's pretty rad. I mean, it's a it's a wide body kit, so it's extended out as you can see on there. Massive wheels to kind of offset that wide body, and then obviously carbon fiber central. And um, yeah, this thing is actually, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, and it's got so, the roof scoop as well. Roof scoop and it sounds insane. The yeah. Novatex exhaust systems are awesome. It screams, they huh? really, really good. And it's got the uh, fender louvers. Now, uh, I believe the best car in here. Is yeah. You're yeah. yeah. Your yeah. favorite yeah. car on here. Yeah. Yeah. We have the. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, you Vulcan. know what? I can't Vulcan. argue with you. I still love the Vulcan uh, more than this, but I do love this car. The guards red car GT. I know. I made about 50 of them in red. And yeah. It's yeah, you can't get any better. And it's a V10 manual, and I know you got to learn the clutch with this car. So that's why so many people love and appreciate the Carrera GT is because it is a more difficult car to drive, but it's also really rewarding. Uh, you're asking the wrong person because I've only moved the car around the shop. I've not driven it on the street, but I know our boy Zalison has a few of them, and he has made the comment before that I can drive it. But I'm not going to do that in San Francisco on the hills. I will do it around here next time it's in town. So, and then maybe you and me can go out to lunch and leave work one day. Oh, that'd be awesome. That's, hint, that's hint, never, hey, that's never going to happen because we don't take lunches here. 
Uh, so this car, it is guards red though, yeah? Guards red, yeah. So this is the, the least amount of, uh, they made the least amount of red ones other than PTS versions. Yeah. About 50 of them, I think it's 47. And it does have the black interior, so. With uh, this car, Carlos has a wood shift though. Yep. So you have the option between the wood or the carbon. Um, so cool. So. All right, well that kind of concludes like the uh, the main shop. And of course we have, I don't want to say the leftover cars because my car's in here, but yes, we have the uh, Project Vantage uh, GT3S we just finished up. 488, we're about to start. A new uh, Aston Martin we just finished up. Uh, our buddy Jeff's F12 and a McLaren GT4. So this, uh, this is not the leftover area, I take that back. This is the non-hypercar area, and uh, this is where my car belongs because it's gonna be a very long time until I can afford a hypercar. These cars will be going outside tomorrow to be displayed. Yes, they will, the they show. will. And I actually, I love the McLaren 570 GT4. I know I've said it to you a, a lot, and even though I am obviously uh, crazy about Aston Martin, there's very few other cars I would wanna build, and uh, even though I can never even afford a 570, I just drive Ryan's car, this is actually what I would ultimately do to Ryan's car. I would do track, track wheels, 18 inch wheels, the functional wing. Uh, we would do, actually, I would still like to do some sort of 600 LT style exhaust. I think it would be yeah, rad. I remember you mentioned that when it was prior to the 600. I the said nine, that, eight, I style. swear, I swear. I told Logan I was about six months into working here and we drove the car up to LA. Right. And I, and, right? Monterey. No, we were up in uh, LA Canyon with our friends. Yep, yep. And I said, wouldn't it be cool if they did an exhaust like the 918 coming out of here? And I kid you not, I had no idea the 600 LT was coming out, and they came out with it. They sure did. Took the idea away. They took it from me. So look at the interior. This thing's all business as well. All Alcantara, which I love. The fixed seats, the halo, the Alcantara steering wheel that uh, detaches. So uh, as much as I love our 570, if I could change it, I would go more of the GT4 route. And uh, this one just got a new Marlboro livery that we're gonna finish up next week with some of the graphics. Uh, you can't go wrong with the Marlboro scheme. I still love it. I don't know if you guys still do. I do. Black, white, and red too. It looks really good. Um, and then, yeah, we got Jeff's uh, F12. It's got uh, Vor Center wheels on it, stripes, uh, clear bra. Of course, they're supporting the Monaco Pearl brand. Um, our friends at Newport Beach, uh, that's where this car originated from. Again, this is about to get a full body on it. We'll start on it. And then, yeah, look at the Aston Martin. I don't know if the lighting is going to pick it up, but it's got some gold flake in it. And then, uh, yeah, GT3 RS that we just finished up, Project Aston. So. I think we made it work. That was one that take. Was one full take. How one long, how one take. I'm out of breath right now. And uh, hopefully the camera wasn't shaky. But I really hope that you guys get to see and appreciate all of the hypercar goodness. Because again, tomorrow this is going to be a zoo. And uh, we still have to come in early and move some cars outside. And we still have, this is the hypercars. We still have, I think there's like almost 8 to 10 Ford GTs coming in. Uh, eight to 10 SVJs and SVs, a uh, bunch of pistas and everything else. So this is gonna be a madhouse. And um, we knew it was gonna be big, but we didn't realize that everybody's attending this show. So we really appreciate all that. And we hope that all of you guys who are not local get to see this and uh, kind of feel like you're here and uh, feel like you're here before everybody else gets to see this stuff. So again, we really appreciate you guys watching the channel. If you like what you see, subscribe below and uh, we'll keep these going. But in the meantime, take this uh, in one more time. And uh, next you're time- gonna, You're not gonna cue the montage? Right no, now? no montage, because we're not editing videos. We're doing this, raw footage. So I think you guys can appreciate all this stuff. So as long as you guys keep watching the videos, we'll keep it up. Thanks guys.